Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. Become part of the family. I feel like you've probably seen another video, or maybe this is your first video, but I guarantee you're gonna fall in love. So you might as well go ahead and subscribe. Stick around, stay around. I love to have you a part of the family because the more of you, the merrier. If you're returning, thank you for tuning in. As you can tell by the title, this video is a little different from any other content that I have on here. And I'm really excited about that because I have been waiting, waiting to put out content like this because I love fashion just as much as I love beauty, which they kind of go hand in hand, but really there's a difference, but I love them both. So I could not wait to bring the fashion to this channel. So this video is going to be about my SLG collection, which stands for Small Leather Goods, for those of you who don't know, that's what that means. And I'm really excited to share these items. Now, I'm not a huge SLG girl. I have probably about seven items here, probably nine items that I'm going to show you. I'm, t I'm the type of person, once I get an item like this, like an SLG, a wallet or something like that, I kind of stick to it. I don't really change them out too often unless I just see one I have to have or I need a specific size or something like that. I don't typically just go in the store for them. They're kind of just as need basis for me. So I don't have a huge collection. So the first item that I have is not really a leather good. It's more of a... I think this is like a tweed material. It's the Chanel toiletry zipper bag. I use it for my feminine items as well as my lipsticks, small pins, lip liners. I have like a hair tie or something in here. That's kind of what I reserve this bag for. I have my hand sanitizer here, which is just this Germex traditional regular mini travel size. If I stick that in here, it fits, but it kind of is it, 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 taking up a little space. But I would probably stick that in here. Let's see what else. I'll grab a lipstick. I'll put like this lip liner in here. And probably one other small item could go here. And then I would zip it like so. And just kind of what we got going on so the next item is super fun for me I typically don't get items like this all the time but for the color I had to get it it's this Louis Vuitton red pink purple white card holder I love it it will look really cute in my um, Louis Vuitton box which is actually like a cosmetic decorative piece that fashion has made like a clutch or handbag. If you know, you know what I mean. This card holder is one that only has two, um, two slots, one slot at the front and then this other one at the very top. And then it has the same one slot on the other side. So the next item is my favorite. This key holder this is the Louis Vuitton six key ring holder it has this slot right this slot here if you pull this little tab and push this top where the key rings are slides out like this and you can take these rings off as you need them I've had this particular um, key holder since for about two years and as you can see the button on it is really it has worn a bit it isn't like super worn to where it's starting to tarnish badly um i haven't had much glazing issues so that's nice this is the top of it and then this is the bottom of it now with this key ring holder i use it for multiple things so if I'm taking a really small bag that doesn't fit a lot, I'll put my cards in this little slide, close it up, and just use this as my wallet as well as my key holder. And I think it does a good job 
of hiding it both so it doesn't look like oh you just put your cards in like this little key holder thing so i have like my id and a credit card in here and i'm gonna it still closes now the thing with putting cards in here because you have those cards in the back it is going to give the the key holder a little more restriction as it is trying to close so if you have bulkier keys they won't fit in here like this like you'll have to take the um cards out because the card is not going to bend so this leather isn't going to bend so if you have bulkier keys that need to go in here say like an apartment fob or something like that and a bulky key it'll be hard for it to close just keep that in mind also this is a really good investment because it protects the inside of your bag from your keys scratching it and ruining the inside interior of your nice bag. This next item is my favorite, like ugh, favorite. It's going to be the Chanel Caviar Leather Card Holder with the Gold Hardware. I love the Chanel Caviar. I think that leather is just... This Wally, you open it up, it has the Chanel stamp, the buttons, the gold hardware. It only has this one pocket and then the other pocket for most of your stuff. Like looks like this inside. This is it with nothing in it. I've kind of stretched it, but it goes pretty flat. I have about eight cards in here and like $2. <laughs> And then I usually keep my insurance cards, which are just super thin. And this is how, you know, much is wrong in size with that amount of cards. Not too big. This is also small enough to fit in your smaller bags. For instance, I'm carrying the Pochette Matisse. I love this bag. I This is like my go-to bag. Another story for another day. But I fit this in my key holder in here and they fit without making the bag too bulky which yeah the next item is an item that i got with a matching purse i got it with the alma pm i think it's the small or medium size but anyway it's this multi-color uh key ring card holder this is what it looks like on the inside. It's actually pretty spacious. And then it has this one slide here in the front. I do make this style of key ring as a key holder. However, I think this one is more so a um, key ring wallet because of this pocket here in the front and the zipper, the zipper closure. Now, that's not to say that you can't use this as a key ring holder, but it's kind of, it's kind of large to be there. So next we have the Saint Laurent card holder with the Chevron pebbled, I guess, leather and gold hardware. This card holder has three slots in comparison to the two slots the Louis Vuitton one had. It has this one here in the front, one more in the middle, and then this very the one at the very top slide. It also has the same amount on the back side. In comparison, the Louis Vuitton one and the Saint Laurent one are like this. Now, obviously, the Saint Laurent one is going to be taller because it has those three slots, but the Louis Vuitton one is just a little bit wider. And also, I got these items all brand new, pretty much brand new. However, I will link below a few of the personal shoppers that I like to use who offer flexible payment options if you're interested in any of these op items, as well as an Insta a few Instagram accounts that I follow who post daily sales on current season items. Like this item, I actually got... For, I think it was like a hundred or two hundred dollars and I think it may retail for about three hundred and so I'll link those accounts down below so that you know you can figure out what works for you and 
shop around. The next item I have is this Louis Vuitton wallet. As you can see, it is very worn. I really hate that this button is wearing like this, but I mean, I guess it's to be expected for what's it made for the material that it's made of. Um, it's not super, super wide. So I have it in the fuchsia pink with my initials hot stamp at the top. There are four slots, card slots down here. There's a slot here, another one here. And then this actually comes out and you have like an extension to the wallet in here. This wallet is several years old and I think the hot stamping and all the detailing on the inside is wearing nicely. It's just that button, I'm like, why? Now this thing that comes in it, I'm using it as a coin purse or pouch, but I'm gonna take it out because I don't want it to be that. My mom has the same exact wallet and she uses her little pouch like this as a card holder. So she keeps all of her cards and things in this. So I'm like, oh, that's cute. My sister has it and she uses hers as like a, mm, she takes her makeup brushes and pencils and lipsticks and stuff and put them in here. So this next item is an item that you should be seeing in every video because you are subscribed. I see you right there. You probably hadn't subscribed, but you need to because why not? But it's this Louis Vuitton vintage cosmetic case or toiletry bag. This is the, I believe the 26 size. Now this one is a vintage one. It's actually funny because before they became back popular, this was my grandmother's bag that she had from many, 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 many years ago. And it's now being used as a cosmetic bag versus a fashion piece or a clutch. But not much has really changed about the bag, the style of the bag. And then obviously I've had the zipper replaced at the top because it was a vintage bag. So this next item is another item that you see in every video because you're subscribed. And if you're not, go ahead and subscribe. What are you waiting for? It's gonna be this Louis Vuitton cosmetic case with the top handle. Now this one I have not used at all. It was actually purchased to be worn as a clutch. This is the, I think this is the medium size. There may be, I know there's a smaller size for sure. And then I can't, I can't remember if this is the largest size or if there are two sizes smaller than this. This is the nice, BB MNG. At any rate, I haven't used it. The inside of it looks like this. There's this zipper. There's a zipper at the top with the pretty, it's a nice size pocket. There's one pocket here in the back, and then there's these two here. So guys, that's going to be my SLG collection or smaller the goods. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check down below for the links for the Instagram accounts that I typically shop on or the personal shoppers that I use. They're flexible payment options. This video is in no way endorsed or, you know, sponsored by any of those. I have shopped with these people before, so I trust them. They have really good customer service and why not find a deal if you can find a deal? There's one account that I'll link below with the sales. That person is not a shopper. They just post the deals from the different sites. So they are reputable sites. They're Neiman's, Birdoff, um, Scents, Farfetch, different sites that have daily sales on design, current season designer things. So I'll link those below. Don't forget to like the video. It's free and it helps everyone out. Drop a comment down below and subscribe because I love to have you a part of the family and I will see you in the next video.